Hey guys, this is the Fian Google Technical Analyst of Allies Blue. So now you can see this is a daily crude oil side. Uh, so I hope some noise is coming right. Uh, now outside it's a heavy rain is going on. Uh, the weather is too cold here. And uh, for evening analysis, you just subscribe my another YouTube channel and you will find this link in the below. You just go to description and you will find my another youtube uh, channel uh, that is my personal youtube channel and every day i'm analyzing there in the evening time and i'm showing there various type of trading strategy right now i'm uh, like posting what call that one five most candlestick pattern trading strategy not i'm talking about candlestick indicator i'm talking about candlestick pattern so we are combining with price action right all right so i hope you click uh, my subscribe and uh, click the ring icon right so let's check it in a daily time frame and uh, this is a crude oil and the crude oil we have seen uh, right now they are losing their momentum have you seen that was long bearish candle and after that we have seen the small bearish uh, candle now dozy pattern and uh, now we can see this is the inside bar and uh, right now market is running here now what is our first step the step number one we have to find out support and the resistance and how we will find the support and the resistance that is the most important thing so i think how people attend uh, yesterday my webinar so they comes to know how i draw support and the resistance and uh, let me uh, let me uh, show you how to how i draw the support and resistance so step number one i always find out most recent higher and the lower point so now we have seen this was most higher point uh, according to the projection method right there so i think you people know about projection method high low high so that means this is a higher point this is a lower point like that and uh, this is a most recent higher point but this one most recent high point but this is too high so that is why we have to find out nearest right and the next you can see here another most recent higher point we have seen out there uh let me uh, let me tell you here okay this is not most recent uh, higher point but why i drawn here you know this is a you can say uh, like candle body uh below this supporting line got it and this is a tail there is no body are there any candle you can see here uh, i'm not talking this section i'm talking this area right and the next you can see another thing we have seen that was mostly tested this area so that is why i drawn there in this area as a uh, support right now and the next we have to find out most recent lower point where is the most recent lower point this one and then let me draw another supporting line are uh, there this is a supporting line so now we have seen here support and resistant all right so we can see and if you want to see candlestick pattern we have seen this is the inside bar are uh, there i'm not talking this candle leave it this candle okay this is today candle i'm talking about this candle and this is a inside bar of this candle so this is dozy pattern and inside bar there or you can say this is a harami pattern right oh okay now we have seen our trading range so if you want to trade so we will trade in between this range once they break this level so definitely we will go for buy right once they break this level so definitely we will go for sell but uh, here is a range are there so i'll talk I, i'll explain about that one so now big question is that can we trade in this range so we have seen this is a range 
market range so according to me i'm not interested to track any trade in this range because most of the trade are like intraday trader they are doing right sometime i'm holding my position up to two to three days or till week but hope people uh they trader or intraday or some people are scalp trader scalp trader and they trader they are a little more different scalp trader are trading oftenly to generate the brokerage right oftenly like uh, they are using one minute candle five minute candle uh, in a day they are doing more than uh, 50 60 trade so scalp trading oftenly doing buy and sell and the day trader is taking one or two position a day so like who people are entire day so they can trade here right if they find some buy opportunity in this area definitely they can go for buy and uh, after breaking this supporting line you can say this one 4170 right this is a 4170 so definitely they will go for sell and the next target are there 4097 that means here is a another target right so they people are trading in this range right once they break this level further they will go for buy but i always uh, because i don't have time to trade uh, that mass right so that is why i'm i holding my position two to three days right suppose my trading strategy are there so suppose here they broke this area this candlestick pattern so definitely i'll go for buy and somewhere uh, resistant and i do the money management risk management i i always do the position sizing and i i'll close my position are there and uh, this trading strategy i consistently following i never change my trading strategy again and again by listening to other right that is the most important thing so let's check it uh, this, that was the daily time frame let's check it in a for water right now we have seen the market is running in a pattern so can you get so what pattern are they forming here so market pulls up pulls down and right now they are forming a triangle pattern got it their market is running like that have you seen this is pulls up pulls down right now they are forming a triangle pattern is it okay so always remember everything right so let's check it in a four hour so four hour you can say uh, that is a range and uh, right now you can see market is a sideway and uh, let's check it in a small time frame like a 15 minute right and uh, this is a 15 minute time frame and market is totally sideway have you seen all moving averages are closing each other like hugging like all are reducing and all are gathering in the same place not like that here was arranging like sequentially and but here we can see there is a crisscrossing small uh, moving averages are crossing each other right like that crisscrossing and this is called uh, sideway market and most of the traders are doing big mistake in this case they are entering any direction without having any plan and don't do this sorry don't do this and i always when i see like this pattern i never trade in this zone remember i never trade because we never know here we have seen the broke this area market push up broke down push up right running like that that is free crossing right and the price is running so if who people are following like get or get or trading strategy they are right now get or are sleeping right get or are always sleeping like that uh, suppose this is a get or right so exactly i'm not able to throw this uh, get or uh, almost they are look like big tail are there and big um, mouth are there like that get or right that is a get or like when they are uh, sleeping after uh, like having food they always sleeping like that right so exactly this is not look like that all right something like that i don't know what is that okay now when they awake uh, right so after that their mouth 
are opening like that right which look like that that is called getter method right that is the getter and they open their mouth like that this is a thing right this is a thing right so when getter are sleeping stay away from the market and once they open their mouth that means market with high volatility it is a high probability after sleeping the getter definitely he will get up and he will be hungry and after that he will open his mouth right that means market will go up or down that will be a high volatility and we have seen now this is a range right uh, this is the market range so in this range i will not trade i'm not interested most of that people are thinking hey they will break this supporting line can i go for sell can i go for short to this level you can say yo according to the previous market behavior the price was bouncing from this area so if you wanna draw another supporting line the supporting line is very narrow right very narrow and if you want to enter here for the cell by seeing previous lower point this is your range you must close in this in this area right or if they break this level definitely they might go up to this area so but i am looking for more confirmation right high probability once they break this range so definitely we will expect more than 50 points right and if they break this level Definitely, we are looking for at least 50 points. But in this area, most of the who people are more greedy and they are fear of losing opportunity. They are entering anywhere, right? They can't hold their uh, control their uh, like emotion and entering anywhere without having any plan. Okay, so I hope uh, till evening market uh, volatility will uh, I think uh, will start from evening. And so. You just subscribe my another channel and I will show you in which direction we can go for buy or sell. So in that uh, channel I will definitely explain evening. So thanks for watching and I see you evening in the next channel. Have a good day.